Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendai Dukai and in this video I will show you how to use the MediaLearn function in Bitwig to integrate your controller like a pro. Then let's get started. So a lot of you or some or none of you know um, that there's a way to media learn a knob to your controller. Like you do a right click over here, then click on the map to controller key and then wiggle the fader or knob you want to map. And then everything is mapped to that um, control. To delete that, you just have to right click again and delete it like this. Or you just take the filter, for example, map it on your controller key and delete it like this. This is very easy and quick, but there is a better way, not that longer um, version of that, because um, there is these, or, or there are these remote controls in Bitwig. I um, did a lot of videos about them. I did uh, some with the Driven by Moss scripts and the Generic Flexi and so on to get most of um, the whole controller thingy and um, your synthesizer plugins and devices. And if you want to control this knob on your, for example, let's say in the polysynth, then you can just click over here. If you don't want to search here, add a new page, click on here, click on here. Then maybe you want to add the resonance as well. Click here, click here. And the first knob of the eight knobs or faders that are assigned to um, to Bitwig, to your, to your controller, you can wait, you can use them already like this. So, so you can use them instantly. And the, the big advantage to do it like that, that only takes one second longer than just right click um, here, map to control or key, is that this, um, this connection is only available if you select the device. So if I want to control, for example, I don't know what I did here. <laughs> if you control for want to control, for example, the low cut from your EQ, you just can open here the uh, remote controls, then add a new page, click on the cutoff, and click on the queue and if this device is selected you can control them via your controller for example and this movement doesn't include your former controls so uh, wait so you can see both so if i select the eq it just controls the EQ. If I select the polysynth, it just controls the polysynth. And it's always the same two faders I'm using. The same goes to um, devices, plugins. So if I open Vital here, I have a sound like this. Very quiet right now. Like this. And I want to map the filter and the resonance as well. I just open it here, click on the plus, click on this symbol, then click on this symbol. And as long vital is selected, I can control these parameters really, really quick. And the same to show it completely. Click on add page, click on the frequency, click on the Q factor, the resonance. And now I can control this device with my controllers. And at last, the search synthesizer, same principle, just another um, plugin. You want to control the, the filter. For example, just open it here, add a new page. Click on the filter, click on the resonance, activate the search. So maybe we do like a filter balance to this side. So you see, it's very easy, very quick, and far more flexible um, than if you do the uh, map 
to controller or key or if it to you directly in the uh, plugin with a MIDI learn or assign MIDI CC or something. So that's it again. My name is Udo Sandaiduk. Hey, thank you for your time and attention, and I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.